Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a random reading for the 12th of July. These are general randoms, so if they apply to you, that's awesome, and if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you rock. If anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. Absolute gorgeous day in New Hampshire today. Almost picture perfect. First cut out, we have the world card. So, one cycle ends, so another one can begin. One with new opportunities. Hmm. This card came out and flipped, but went back in. You know I'm nosy. We've got the page of cups. Somebody offering something that is heartfelt or sentimental. Let's see what's going on with this world card. Ooh. Might have something to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a messenger. A messenger to take a course of action. Maybe, let's, maybe a cycle is completing with a fire sign. Or beginning. Now, these two came down face down. Ooh, boy. We have the devil, also known as Capricorn. Addictions, illusions. <laughs> and you get the page of cups again, too. Maybe an offer from the devil. We'll put it back, see if they come out. So let's see what's ending or beginning. Oh, there's a bunch of them that came out. Okay. Looks like it's a new beginning. We have the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail of Love here. Then we have the Eight of Swords. The self-imposed mind prison that somebody puts themselves in. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. Slowest one out of all of them. This is true. But it's... It's real. You know, it's all the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed. When it comes, it has substance. So somebody here could be in their mind about a new love, possibly with a fire sign, to see if it has, you know, gumption, if it has substance, if it has any worth of value in it. Ooh, and we had a bunch here flip. Hmm. How interesting. I'll take a look at the ones that were face down. But look at this. Crazy, right? King and queen of wands. Two that reign the realm together. This could be a Sagittarius with a Sagittarius, a Leo with a Leo, an Aries with an Aries, an Aries with a Sagittarius. You get the idea. Or two people that take on these properties. They're fiery, they're charismatic, they're creative. They're motivated. They go get it done. But they were face down. What is face up is a nine of swords. Agony. Thinking about something over and over again. We're going from that eight to the nine. Losing sleep over something. And then you get the four of swords. This is taking a pause, taking a step back, taking a breath, reprioritizing, re-strategizing. It's right under the Knight of Wands. You have the Five of Pentacles. This is feeling outcasted, shunned, blocked. This could be emotionally, you know, in financially at a poverty level. And then you have the Hangman of Wands. Feeling stuck. Feeling like you don't go forward, you don't go backwards. You're just in limbo. But it's also seeing something in a different perspective. This could be about somebody giving somebody a second chance. A new offer in love. Closing out whatever happened in the past. 
and starting something new, something fresh. Because something is seen in a different light. I am... I amaze myself sometimes. Somebody could be dealing with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. Somebody who is practical, methodical, realist. They like to have the material things. Then we have the Six of Cups. Nostalgia. Fondly thinking of the past. Great memories. See what I mean about... Maybe something's coming around a second time. Somebody doesn't know they should give somebody a second shot. Maybe somebody ghosted somebody here. Hmm. Look at this. At the bottom of the deck. You have the Eight of Wands. This is reciprocated communication. Going back and forth. Whether it's emailing, texting, Skyping, face-to-face. -face, you get the idea. So this is where it all starts. Communicating. What's on each other's mind. So, let's get in it. We have something that wants to end. Oh, I'll bring it back here. If you can see it. Too much sun. Here we go. We have something wants to end. A cycle. And a new one wants to begin. And if it's not with a fire-like person... It could be somebody that is motivated and wants to do this. Wants to have a brand new love. If you can see that. But the other person is stuck in their head about it. They might want to. You don't offer something. Something real, something tangible. But still stuck in their head about it. Agony. This person needs to just take a step back, take a breath, and reprioritize and re strategize. Make a plan. Maybe make a plan B. And it's right under the. Knight of Wands, put something into motion after a well, you know, thought out period. This person might be coming back out from being out in the cold. Outcast and shunned, locked. Or the other person that is stuck in their head. But I think both parties here need to see something in a new perspective. With brand new eyes. And it could have something to do with an Earth-like person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or somebody who is practical, somebody who is methodical, who is a realist, is seeing this for how it is. They're not sugarcoating anything. And whether it's a Earth sign, Fire sign, they have some sort of tie with the past. So let's break it down. Somebody is worrying about finishing a cycle, closing something out, or beginning something. Some thought needs to go into taking a course of action. Possibly with a fire like person. Doesn't have to be. They can have the characteristics. Because I think somebody here was outcasted from love at one point. Blocked. And they have a new opportunity to have it. This person just keeps a negative out of their head and sees something in a different light at a new angle. They could see that there is something worthwhile and could be valuable here. And it could be with somebody that they've known before. Got to keep them, the lines of a communication. Oh, see if you can see that. Lines of communication open. That's key here. Because something is going to change. Absolutely. Death demands it. 
So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.